Hi guys and welcome to my channel. <laughs> so today I want to be discussing a few things but the main topic is about procrastination and why some of us are not motivated and I'm going to give you some tips or literally I want to wake you up out of that because I was in that. I was not motivated living day by day. I had to read a lot of books, get a lot of knowledge on the topic and listen to a, and watch a lot of like motivational videos. So I really hope this can help. You see, the topic procrastination is very, very interesting. A lot of people think that they are procrastinators when that's not the case. Procrastination is a habit. So I have the habit of procrastinating. And what procrastination is, it's the body's mechanism to um, fight against stress. So as soon as you hesitate to do something or your body comes into a fear mode, your body, your brain now switches on this procrastinating mode and that's how you don't get things done. You need something to counteract that response to the fear and to the hesitation of procrastination. So there's this trick that I read about. I read like many different versions of it, but it did never had a source. It was just people like sharing it and I want to share it with you now. So it's basically the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 technique. And what you have to do is you basically, okay, before you have a decision to make, or let's say something, there's something that you've been procrastinating over for a very long time. So what you do is when it comes to the time to do it, so that decision you have to make to do it or to do something else, you literally, before giving yourself another option, you count five, four, three, two, one, and you get up. And what this does is it wakes up your prefrontal cortex and that basically makes your brain go into a cognitive mode. The 4321 technique will get you to actually start what you set out to do. The problem is always in starting. And statistics show that 80% of people, when they start doing something, they are, tend to continue. So let's start, guys. Yes, most of us want to see change in their lives. They want a transformation. They want the convenience of transformation without all the inconveniences that come along with it. And this is literally close to impossible, you know. And see what we do is we check out because we become afraid or we check out because everything gets too overwhelming or we check out and start listening to self-doubt. And then we start making these teeny tiny decisions daily. For example, a small decision to not wake up on time, a decision to not eat the right thing, a decision to not go to the gym, a decision to not speak out in a meeting. Um, and you see all of those teeny tiny decisions add up and accumulate. And then you now find yourself becoming so far off track. And then you sit down, you look at yourself in the mirror and you look at your life and you think to yourself, wow, how the hell did I get here? I can't stress enough how important it is to plan, guys. You know, everybody has dreams. You can dream of the kind of future you want to live. You can dream of the kind of change you want to see in your life. You can dream about the kind of life you want to live. But if you don't wake up and start planning on how to get there, it will only remain a dream. I've always had a goal in mind or like something I wanted to achieve in the future or the near future. And the thing is, it just looked like a long or high staircase to climb. You see, we always imagine ourselves at the top of, it's so easy to imagine ourselves at the top of the staircase, but to get there is like the struggle and it feels overwhelming a lot of the time. So what you need to do is you need to take it like one staircase at a time, right? And that's what I implemented in doing goal setting. I never used to write goals, but since I started writing goals, it's done wonders to my life. Like 
I said before, every small decision that you decide not to do can take you off track. So imagine writing the small decisions that you just ignore. Write them, have them in front of you written down. So you keep going over it. And soon, actually, you'll feel the guilt will start to set in when you come to your, like, um, your goals in your diary or whatever and you open it and you see that a lot of it has not been ticked off and also when you finish when you have achieved each small goal and you tick it off it feels amazing like the satisfaction is amazing so you'll feel satisfaction from ticking off the goals you've already done for the day and then you feel guilt for the goals that you have not done to wrap this up i want you guys to do something for me tomorrow morning when you get up Stand in front of the mirror. Say to yourself that you are somebody, that you are important, that you will make changes to see yourself getting closer to your ideal future. Thank you so much for watching my video. And if you like what you see, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. And also, please feel free to comment below on what other topics you'd like me to discuss and whether you found this helpful. Thank you.